Hi everyone, it's MJ, the fellow actuary, and in this video, I want to talk about the coronavirus and the actuarial exams. I think everyone's well aware of the virus and the pandemic that we're facing, and you need to be prepared for how it might impact your actuarial studies. Some of us have been getting emails from our local societies letting us know about what's happening and they are keeping us updated as the situation progresses. It's important to know that there is the International Actuarial Association and they kind of set the syllabus and what, the, what needs to be covered in actuarial exams, but the local societies are the ones who run the exams, who set the exams and who mark it. So just because one society might cancel exams, it doesn't mean that the rest will be canceled. So the big, big message here is to pay attention to what your local society is saying. So try and find out who's running your exam center, get in contact with them to make sure that you know what's happening. Now let's look at some of the potential outcomes or potential courses of action that could take place. One, the exams could go ahead as planned. Remember the coronavirus is if like it's a big meeting, those things are being advised to be canceled. But actuarial exams, sometimes there's only 10 people in the classroom and that might not be seen as too much of a threat. And so the examiners might push those exams go forward. So that might be the situation is that the exams continue. We might see that extra precautions are taken so maybe students are spread around the classrooms or bigger spaces are taken up. And, but this still is like the first situation where the exam goes ahead as planned. We could see postponements, so you might write the exam a week or two later, or in worst case scenario, it might even be postponed to the next exam session, which is all the way out in September. There might even be a situation where they require the exam to be written on the computer at home. And this might not sound as crazy as it might seem, seeing that already part of the exam, specifically for CS2 and CM2, that's also subjects A214 and A212, parts of those exams are written at home. That's the computer element, whether you're doing Excel or whether you're doing R. We might see a situation where the whole exam is done like that. I don't know if, if that's going to happen though. That's maybe a bit of a drastic measure. But as a student, you need prepared for anything. Like I say, it's very, very important that you keep up to date with your local exam center, with your local society to, to see what's happening for you. Um, just because you see, let's say, one society cancel, it doesn't necessarily mean that your society is gonna cancel as well. So that is the big message, is to keep the communication channels open. What I am doing is because I prepared a whole bunch of workshops for uh, the subject CS2, CM2, and the Enterprise Risk Management. It's looking like those workshops are going to be canceled, especially the ones that I'm doing, gonna do this week. They are canceled. So what I'm gonna be doing is virtually delivering some of the content of those workshops. And I'm gonna be putting it on Udemy. And I've just finished part one, which is just an introduction to the actuarial exams. And this is kind of an introduction for any of the workshops. So it's, it's very general. We just look at, you know, what is the purpose of an actuary? Uh, what are the dimensions of risk? We have a big overview of the syllabus and the various subjects. And then we dive into some of my crazy study techniques. So this first course has been created. I'm uploading it onto Udemy as we speak right now. And that is gonna be available. I wanna make it available to, to everyone, um, the introduction one. So there will be a link in the Udemy course below. And then instead of doing like a workshop where, cause these workshops, uh, I mean for 8214, it's like seven hours and it's a four day workshop. So there's a lot of content that I've prepared. We're gonna be putting it on Udemy. So there'll be a whole course on loss distributions, a whole course on mark of chains, a whole course on stochastic processes, a whole course on time series, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I will be posting regular updates, but check, check on Udemy for those uh, various courses because maybe you're struggling with a certain section and then you can come in and check some of these videos on Udemy and get a little bit of help in case the exams do go ahead. So this is just a quick little update uh, to also let you guys know about that. But of course, I think we're all, all aware of the safety precautions, washing your hands, 
doing a little bit of social distancing. And yeah, I think it's it's important to, although they say whenever you tell people to stay calm, that's, that's when they tend to panic. So maybe we shouldn't, shouldn't do that whole reverse psychology thing. But the whole idea is stay safe, stay sane, and I'll keep you guys updated with everything happening on my side. But until then, study hard and yeah, just I guess yeah, be safe. Cheers everyone.